Well, Darren, the topic of the year is drought proofing next year's crop. What can we do this fall so we're less susceptible to drought next year? Well, we put in irrigation pivots on all our fields, Brian. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. Then we can just add more water. Oh. That would be an easy answer, wouldn't it? If it didn't cost a lot of money and if we didn't have issues with getting a water source. Yeah, but out you know what? Fields. Seriously, that's something that a lot of farmers need to consider. So you've got to run these numbers. You know, commodity prices are whole different than they used to be. And you might have run the numbers 10 years ago, but you need to look at it again because now you've got more yield potential and a lot more dollars per acre that you could potentially bring in to pay off that irrigation system. All right. Well, you say that, Brian, but here's one thing that I think about. You know, we had fields right across the road from each other this year that one field looked good and the field right across the road, probably a fairly similar soil type, looked terrible and suffered from drought much earlier. So there are certainly management practices you can do without irrigation that you can certainly help your crop get by a lot okay. longer in low moisture situations. All right, situations. so here are the first things that I think about. Reducing tillage. We do a lot of strip till on our farm. We could absolutely see the difference there versus our conventional till stuff. Another big thing is having roots going down deep. In order to do that on our farm, in some cases, we've got to have tile in the ground so we keep our water table low. If the water table's high, it's going to cut your roots off early in the year. So tiling is something we're going to be working on this fall too, and I see it going on all over the country. Fertility, not just fertility in general. I like having fertility down deep in the ground because it's nice when you can get your roots deep, but you've got to have some plant nutrients down deep too. You'll have water down. I mean, even on our farm, we'd gone two months without rain this summer. We dug a hole, dug a root pit, for our big field day this summer. I mean, it was 100 degrees out and we had water down at about three feet. I mean, not lots, but there was water down there. Well, if you don't have any fertility down there, that water's not gonna do you as much good. When you talk about water and fertility, Brandon, it just brings me to the point you need to build organic matter levels in your soil. And that's mm -hmm. one thing that I'm really focusing on on my ground. I want to build my organic matter levels up because for each 1% increase in organic matter, your soil can hold 4% more water. That's a big, big deal, especially on a year like this. And plus that organic matter holds nutrients, soil microbes, all those things yep. are good about organic matter. The other thing is planting date. Instead of waiting until, you know, a week or two weeks after everybody else is getting started, you know, be one of those early guys that gets out there. I'm not saying that you want to plant your soybeans in February or something like that, but maybe err towards the early side on some of your acres at least by planting a little bit earlier, you can close off those rows quicker before it gets real What hot. this all comes back to is something that our dad said years ago. He said, rain corrects your mistakes. He originally farmed in Iowa, then moved to South Dakota where he got about 30% less rainfall. And he just said, boy, in Iowa, I, I could make mistakes with many of these different things that we've just talked about. But he said, when I came to South Dakota, I had to be a much better farmer. I had to be very particular because quite often we had dry conditions. Just a few years ago on our farm, we went three months with no rain. This year, we went two months with no rain, and it really shows up. I, I mean, we still make mistakes today, but we're trying to minimize those mistakes, trying to make these corrections so we can drought-proof our future crops. One of the important things on drought-proofing crop is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this week's Weed of the Week.